वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज अगेन सेक्शन 5.5 एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन 30 व्हाट डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो हियर द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉर द इनपुट वेवफॉर्म इन फिगर 5.61 व्हाट लॉजिक सर्किट विल जनरेट द आउटपुट वेवफॉर्म एज शोन ओके सो व्हाट इज द आउटपुट वेवफॉर्म सो द आउटपुट वेवफॉर्म इज हियर दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज द आउटपुट वेवफॉर्म एक्स and these are the inputs which we have so the inputs we have are a b and c okay so we have to find out the word we have to find out the logic circuit for it so for it we have different steps let me write down one by one so what will be the step so uh, we have to identify identify the inputs or binary value of the inputs for which output is equal to 1 okay so this will be what this will be the step number one so we have to identify the inputs for which the uh, output is one so let me first identify them so here we can see that this is one this is one this is output okay we can see that x is the output here this is also one 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 okay so for this level i have to find out the uh, inputs or the binary values of the input so for the first one i can see that the combination i have here is the one 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 for the second i have this one zero zero okay so this is the combination for the third one this is again one i can see that for it i have one zero zero uh, for this one this uh, fourth one i will have one 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 okay for this one i will have one zero zero and for the last one here i will have one zero one okay so these are some combinations for each i have got these values okay so after it uh, after finding them what do we have to do so let me first write them what are the combinations so uh, the second step here will be to write binary values or identified binary values in the form of a truth table okay so what we have whatever we have found out let me write them in the form of a truth table so we have a we have b we have c and we have here x okay which is the output so what are the combinations which we have obtained so this is one 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 this is the first one here for it i have output equal to one okay the second combination is here that is one double zero one zero zero so the output for it is one okay this third one is the replication of the second one uh, this fourth one is also the replication of the first one okay uh, this is what this is also the replication of the second and the third one while this last one is 101 so let me write it again so 101 for it i have obtained this one so this is step number two after finding them we will have step number three so let me write the step number three by here okay so in step number three we have to find the sop form okay from this truth table form from the truth table okay so from this truth table we can very easily see that the sop form what we will have would be this is x and it will be a b c okay plus a b complement c complement plus a b complement c okay so this is what this is the sop form for the truth table which we have here and this is this one and the truth table we have here is this one so after it what do we have to do this will uh, be the final step and implementation or the logic circuit for the sop okay so this is the sop expression and for it i have to find out the uh, logic circuit so let me 
first of all write the inputs which we have so here we have three inputs which are a b c so this is first this is second this is third okay so the first uh, thing here is this a b c so let me first write the a b c here so for this uh, we will have a first and circuit three input and circuit and this will be here okay so this is the first and circuit okay so the output of it will be what this would be a b c for the second what what i will have this will be a b prime c prime okay so the second uh, circuit here we will have so the three here and the two um, inputs here are this is the first complemented term here sorry this will be here uh, the first one will be here and the third one here will be here what this is the c complement so at the output of it we will get a b complement c complement while the last one here is a b complement c so here let me draw the last here so let me write the three inputs so that is what that is a b complement c so using a here C here okay and B complement here so from it I will get what that would be a B complement C okay so we have these three inputs which are now added together and for adding them I will use a three input or circuit so this is the or circuit okay and here this is what this is X which has been giving me this answer okay so this is what this is a logic circuit which we have obtained from our uh, expression which is x and this is what we had to find out so here what we have used this is the first and circuit this is a second and circuit this is the third and circuit we have here the not gates and the final or gate here as well okay so uh, i think these steps are now uh, cleared in your mind that what steps we would have to follow if a certain output has been given to us certain input has been provided to us and we have to find out the logic circuit out of those inputs and output uh, waveforms so i think it's enough for today and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video take care of yourself